dear students as proteomics evolved people started realizing the need for open data formats now every instrument every mass spectrometer that was there in the research labs was outputting data in its own unique raw file format so matrix science a company came up with the mgf format or the mascot generic format as is obvious from its name it's a generic format so it can incorporate data from multiple mass spectrometers which uh, may output files in different raw formats and represent them in a standardized way let's take a look at the mgf format so as i just mentioned the mgf is a simple human readable standardized file format and it includes a lot of attributes that can be measured from the sample in the mass spectrometer's chamber the company matrix science that incorporated this format has evolved this mgf file format along with the mass spectrometer instruments evolution and there are multiple formats of mgf or versions of mgf now available in the market i will elaborate what mgf format is by this table as you can see in the first column we have the attributes for each of the measured quantity in the mass spectrometer's chamber the first is the accession so the accession number is essentially the database entries to be searched so you have to search your sample within a database and these accession numbers are accession numbers of the proteins in the database secondly the charge the attribute so the charge attribute is essentially the charge on the peptide of the protein that is under observation next there is the cle attribute and the com attribute which gives you the enzyme that is used or the search title uh, that you can give for your search next you can look at the cutout attribute the precursor removal so it just gives you the precursor removal mass the amino acid composition the database that is the db attribute it gives you the database you want to search in your query there is a decoy attribute as well so if you want to perform a decoy search then you can have data here as well the error tolerance so in this case you can specify if your search is error tolerant and you can accept some plus or minus mass in the search next the e tag or the error tolerant sequence tags so the sequence tags that are reported by the search uh, may contain slight deviations which you can tolerate if you want by setting this attribute as well next the format so here if you look closely the format attribute gives you the msms data file format now this is your data which is coming from the mass spectrometer in terms of the mass or charge ratio and relative abundance this data is dependent upon the type of mass spectrometer and therefore there are multiple formats that are uh that can be used for setting this attribute next you have the frames you have the instrument and of course you can specify each one of them yourself and there are some other variable modifications that you can specify the fragment ion tolerance so all of these parameters you can set up in your mgf file that is output from the uh, matrix science mascot search engine moreover you can have uh, attributes such as mods mass and pep mass so in mass you specify the mono isotopic mass or the average mass whichever you want to use in the search for the molecule the mods include the fixed modifications the post translational modifications that may be there on your uh, protein the pep mass is the peptide mass which you can specify if you're looking for the peptides lastly you can have a precursor mass attribute also set so this precursor mass gives you a guesstimate of the molecular weight of the peptide or protein that has been injected into the mass spectrometer's chamber so this can be used by your search algorithm later on to come at a better conclusion 
You can also look at the quantitation data by looking at the relative abundances. And then there is the raw file identifier, which tells you the raw file format. So all of this data is there in your MGF file. That is the mascot generic format file. And you can convert this MGF file into any, uh, you can link this MGF file into with any search engine and you can search your mass spectrometry data. However, as I mentioned in the beginning, due to the evolution of mass spectrometers, the MGF file attributes have also evolved and grown. So now there are a lot of MGF attributes and they, they keep getting upgraded. So before using an MGF file, you may want to look at the version of that MGF file that has been output and uh, process it accordingly.